from director Tim Burton. The inspiration behind most Hot Topic merchandise comes another Burton 3D reboot that this time inexplicably made over a billion dollars. A billion? This is why we can't have nice things! Allison fell in love with Lewis Carroll's playful storybooks and sat in awe of Disney's beautiful animated film. Now, head down the rabbit hole once again to watch the once brilliant Tim Burton, who always defied convention with brilliant ideas, become a complete parody of himself and bungle yet another iconic franchise for a paycheck. Alice is all grown up in this not quite a sequel, featuring nightmarish CGI versions of your favorite characters. Gah! Who'd want to buy any of those on a t-shirt? Join these ugly characters for a forced and young adult being the chosen one. Destined to save the kingdom from the evil monster. Because apparently Narnia, Harry Potter, Percy Jackson, and the never ending story didn't beat that dead horse enough. Enter the joyless, bombed out post-apocalyptic wasteland known as Underland. Seriously, Wonderland is Underland now. Watch your childhood wither and die as it's replaced by a sepia toe of animal cruelty. <laughs> creatures licking open wounds and creatures getting stabbed in the eye. <laughs> Ugh. Roll your eyes at the world's least inspired casting choice as Johnny Depp plays a pasty weirdo. See Burton's man use as the Mad Hatter, whose character is now vastly expanded with a PTSD backstory, actual hat making, and whatever the f this is. Since Burton can't cast Johnny Depp as everyone, get ready for Helena Bonham Carter as the Red Queen, who you'll hate because of her non-stop shrieking and stupid bobblehead. And Anne Hathaway as the White Queen, who you hate because it's Anne Hathaway. It's against my vows, Tom, any living creature. <laughs> At the center of it all is Alice, a non-conformist dreamer who won't do what some dragon-slaying prophecy tells her to do. This is my dream. I'll She's gonna be her own independent woman and slay the dragon just like the prophecy told her to do. Girl power? So slog through another one of Tim Burton's farted out kooky adaptations, crammed with all the elements of a goth right. teenager's right. emotional detachment. I don't know. I'm confused. Victorian costumes, frowning, tears, and really, really, really white starring. Pale weird Johnny Depp, pale weird Helena Bonham Carter, pale weird Crispin Glover, pale weird Anne Hathaway, and introducing pale weird Mia Wasikowski. Alice in Wonderland. You know Tim Burton didn't actually direct Nightmare Before Christmas, right? It's true. I have to be honest. Oh, I just can't wait for you to click that subscribe button. If you do, you'll surely feel the love tonight.